Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video po ang ating pag-aaralan ay ang translating mathematical phrases into algebraic expressions. So dito i-cover natin lahat ng mga ginagamit natin na operations and symbols sa mga mathematical phrases para maging algebraic expressions like in addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, equality, symbol, powers, and roots. So, huwag na nating patagalin pa. Let's start with the clue words involving the operations and the different symbols. So, let's start po with addition. So, ang addition ay may symbol na plus sign. So, kapag nakita po natin ang mga sumusunod na clue words na ito, ang ating pong symbol ay plus sign, addition. So, ano-ano po yung mga words na ito? These are addition, added from, increased by, more than, the sum of, plus, added to, and the total of. So, lahat ng yan ay involving addition. The next po natin ay ang clue words involving subtraction. So, this is the symbol for subtraction, the minus sign. So, kapag nakita po natin itong mga words na ito, ibig sabihin, ito po ay pertaining to subtraction. So, what are these words? We have the word subtraction, minus, less, less than, the difference of, decreased by, diminished by, subtracted to or from, and taken away. So, yan po ay sa subtraction. Third process natin ay ang multiplication. So, sa multiplication po, ang symbol natin ay yung letter X. O, di naman kaya yung open and close parentheses. Okay? O, di naman kaya ay yung uh, dot or period in between numbers. Okay? So, halimbawa, uh, nakakita tayo ng ganito. Okay, so ibig sabihin na ito ay 3 times 2, the answer is 6. Okay, so nasa gitna, sa taas, hindi siya decimal point kasi wala siya sa baba, nasa gitna siya. Or pwede naman kapag parenthesis magkaganyan. Okay, kapag wala kayong nakita ang addition, subtraction, multiplication, division in between, so ito po ay nangangahulugan ng multiplication. Kasi ang common lang na alam natin yung ganyan, 3 times 2. Okay, so kapag ganyan po na magkadikit, end and closed by the open and closed parenthesis, ibig sabihin ito po ay multiplication. So, ano po yung mga phrases or words involving multiplication? So, the word multiplication times 3 times 2 of the product of twice. Ibig sabihin ng twice, 2 times, 2 times, twice, 4, twice, 3, twice, 12, Ibig sabihin, 2 times, 2 times 4, 2 times 3, 2 times 12. Then, ang ibig sabihin ng thrice ay 3 times. So, thrice 6. Ibig sabihin nun ay 3 times 6. And then, multiplied by. So, these are the words or phrases involving multiplication. So, next po natin ay ang division. So, ano yung symbol natin for division? So, we have this symbol. Okay, then we also have this symbol, yung slash. Then, we also have this symbol, yung bar in between fractions. Okay? So, ipakita lang rin natin kung paano ginagamit itong mga symbols na to. So, ang bawa, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, pwedeng ganito, kapag ganyan, division, pwede rin isulat ang 8 divided by 2 as like this, 8 over 2. Okay, equals 4. Or pwede rin fraction form, 8, at yan, yung over, 8 over 2. That's equal, that's equals to 4. Okay, so ganyan po ang symbols ng division. So, what are the words or phrases? We have division divided by the quotient of, the ratio of, and yung word na over. So, ibig sabihin yan, kapag nakita nyo po ang kahit na ano dito sa mga words na ito, Ito ay involving division. Next is the equality symbol. So, there's no other symbol for equality symbol except for this. So, this is the symbol for equality, equals. So, ano ni mga words natin? We have is equals. Is equal to the same as. 
Okay, so kapag nakita natin yung words na yan, na ibig sabihin ito ay pertaining to equality symbol. Equals. Okay, so kailan ginagamit yung is equals and is equal to? So, gamitin natin itong example natin kanina sa division, 8 over 2 and then 4. So, how do we read this? Using our equality phrases or words. So, 8 over 2 is equals 4. Okay, so, is kap may S dito kapag gumamit tayo ng word na is. And then, walang S, kasi ito yung mga common mistakes sa mga bata, no? Walang S if it is followed by the word to. 8 over 2 is equal to 4. Yung ibang ginagawa, 8 over 2 is equals to 4. So, that is incorrect. So, the, word, the correct grammar there is 8 over 2 is equal to 4 or 8 over 2 is equals 4. Wala nang 2. Okay, then the same as 8 over 2 is the same as 4. 8 over 2 is the same as 4. Okay, next is power or powers. So, usually, ito yung meron tayong number. So, let's use N to represent a number. Then, makita natin may exponent. Okay, so, yan yung power. Yung merong mga exponent dito. So, yan ay ang power. So, ano yung mga words or phrases involving power? So, the square of. Pag square, ibig sabihin ng square 2. Then, the cube of, ibig sabihin ng cube ay raised to 3. Okay, then, is raised to. So, halimbawa, 5 is raised to 10. 5 is raised to 12. 5 is raised to 4. Okay? Then, we have to the nth power. So, yung nth, yun yung nagre-represent ng number. So, for example, 5 to the tenth power 5 to the 4th power 5 to the 12th power okay then to the exponent so 5 to the exponent of 12 5 to the exponent of 6 and so on so these are the words involving powers ating mga algebraic expressions okay so our last here is the word root so, usually, ang root ay ginagamitan na itong root sign. So, we have the square root of. So, this is the basic square root. So, kapag ganito, ibig sabihin, square root, square. Okay, then, cube root. Oh, so, ganyan kapag cube root. And the nth root. So, yung n, ibig sabihin, kahit anong number. So, bawa, the fourth root. The fifth root. So, ganyan. Okay, and so on. So, yan yung sa roots. So now, we will proceed to translating mathematical phrases to algebraic expressions since we already know and familiarized ourselves to the different word clues. So let's start with addition again. So for example, nakakita tayo ng ganito. Okay, so this is an algebraic expression kasi wala namang equal sign. This is not an equation. So, this is only an expression. Okay? So, how do we read this? So, we can simply read this as x plus 5. Or, the sum of x and 5. Pwede rin na 5 more than x. Okay? At yung mga ginamit pa natin kanina na mga word clues, yung mga clue words involving addition. So, halimbawa, 5 added to x x increased by 5. Okay? So, the total of x and 5. So, that is how we read that. At ganun din natin siya isusulat. So, for example, may nakita kayo ang sabi, translate the following phrases into algebraic expression. Ang nakalagay doon ay 10 more than a. So, how do we write 10 more than A? So, kapag may more than or added to, ibig sabihin, the number before these uh, words or phrase, ibig sabihin, yun ay idinagdag kay. So, si 10 ay mas mataas kay A. So, si... So, how do we write this? So, we have first A. Ito yung algebraic expression niya. A plus 10. 
So, ito yung tamang form ng 10 more than A. So, 10 more than A. 5 more than X. Okay? Or, 10 added to A. So, si 10 ay dinagdag kay A. Okay? So, yan po sa addition. Next, let's try subtraction. So, for example, meron tayong ganitong algebraic expression. So, paano natin siya isusulat into mathematical phrases? So, pwede siya na uh, 10, parang more than less than 10, less than M. So, this is 10 less than M. Or, M diminished by 10. So, si M binawasan ng 10. Okay, ano-ano pa yung mga word clues natin kanina sa subtraction? M minus 10. Yun, yun yung pinaka-basic, pinaka-simple. The difference of M and 10. Okay, so, M taken away from 10. Or 10 taken away from M. Okay, so, ano pa? So, halimbawa, binigyan tayo ng 40 less Z. Okay, so, 40 less Z. 40, binawasan ng Z. Pero, paano kapag, kasi ito yung common mistake, eh, yung kapag may word na done, more than, less than. 40 less than Z. Kapag ganito na, may word na na done, parang sa more than kanina. So, si 40, ibinawas kay or mas mababa kay Z. So, ganito ang tamang mathematical or algebraic expression for this. So, hindi po yan pwedeng magkakabaligtad. So, the very reason kung bakit natin binabalikan itong mga algebraic expressions at yung wordings kasi sa mga susunod na lesson, hindi pwede na magkakabaligtad ang pagta-translate ng symbols and uh, numbers. So, yun lang yung tandaan nyo sa so more than, less than. Okay, kapag more than, less than, okay, so nagkakabaligtad yung position nila. So, 40 less than Z. So, pag tinagalog natin yan, si 40 mas mababa kay Z. Kaya mauna yung Z minus 40. Okay, ganun din sa more than kanina. Okay, next naman natin ay ang multiplication. So, paano naman sa multiplication? So, halimbawa, twice... 4 So, how do we write this? So, ibig sabihin, 2 times 4 or pwede rin 2 times 4 or pwede rin na 2 times 4 Okay? So, halimbawa, ang nilagay naman ay thrice A So, ibig sabihin yan, 3 times A So, pwede 3 times A Okay? Pwede rin 3A Okay? Or pwede rin 3 times A. Pero sa algebra, mas ginagamit na natin kapag number and symbol, eto. Itong form na to ang ginagamit natin. Okay, kapag parehong number naman, eto namang form na to yung ginagamit natin. Okay, so hindi na tayo masyado gumagamit ng uh, x sign sa multiplication kapag tayo ay nasa algebra na. Okay, kasi sa algebra, Yung mga letters, di ba? Yung A, B, C, D hanggang Z. Lahat ng yan ay may value. So, para hindi ma-confuse, etong X sign ng multiplication ay hindi na ginagamit sa algebra. Kasi ginagamit niya sa X and Y. So, marami pa po tayo na ginagamit sa multiplication. Katulad ng mga kanina na sinabi natin. Then, binibilisan lang natin kasi ang dami nating examples. Okay? Then, next natin na yung division. So, halimbawa ang nakalagay ay B divided by 5. So, B, how do we write this into algebraic expression? So, B divided by 5. Pero nga sa algebra, hindi na tayo masyado gumagamit ng mga symbols. So, we can simply write this as B over 5. Or B over 5. So, ganyan po ang sulat sa kanya. So, halimbawa, the quotient of a number, the quotient of a number and 10. So, the quotient of a number. So, ano yung number? Nawawala. Missing. So, gamitin natin yung letter N to represent a number. So, the quotient of a number and 10. So, N all over 10 or N divided by 10 or N slash 10. 
Okay, so that that's how we convert or translate mathematical phrases to expressions involving division. Then next natin yung powers. So, bibilisan ko na po. So, halimbawa, ganyan. How do we read this? So, this is the square of m. Okay? Or pwede rin tong basahin as m squared. Okay? So, paano naman kung uh, ganito? So, this is the cube of 4 or 4 cube or 4 to the third power or 4 raised to 3. Okay? So, what about in roots? So, kapag ganito, ang base dyan ay square root of x. So, minsan kasi pinapasulat, no? So, ang isusulat nyo, square root of x. So, that's the mathematical phrases. Okay? Paano kung ganito? So, this is the cube root of y. The cube root of y. Okay, paano kung ganito? This is the 8 root of A. Okay, 8 root of A. Okay, next, sa equal naman, alam naman na natin yun, di ba, yung sa equal sign. So, A plus B is equal to 15, or A plus B equals 15. Okay, so, pwede rin naman na uh, yung kanina, yung mga examples natin. So, para mabilis na tayo. So, ganyan po yung pagta-translate ng mathematical phrases to algebraic expression. So, we'll have another videos for examples and answers. So, gagawa po tayo ng iba pang videos na meron pang maraming mga examples ng phrases. Then, gagawin natin algebraic expressions and vice versa. So, I hope meron na naman tayong natutunan in today's lesson. And just keep on following our channel and don't forget to subscribe para po maging updated tayo sa ating mga upcoming video lessons. So, thank you so much for watching. God bless you.